In today's episode, I print a Raspberry Pi case with a twist. I'm Brian, and you're watching BB3D. So, Friday was May 4th, Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Yesterday, Saturday, was May 5th, the Revenge of the 5th. So, in honor of Revenge of the 5th, I decided that I was going to print something Star Wars related. Uh, and having to do with the dark side. So I thought, hmm, Darth Vader, why not? And then that reminded me of a project that uh, Apple Computer had done with Bell and Howell back when the Apple II was new. This is something that they did because a lot of schools had budgetary constraints or, or budgetary requirements where they they were pre-authorized to buy audiovisual equipment from Bell and Howell. They produced this Apple II. It was, a, it was an Apple II in every way, except that it was black. And this was commonly referred to as the Darth Vader Apple II, for obvious reasons. If you do a Google image search for Darth Vader Apple II, this is what you will find. It's a standard Apple II Plus, just dressed in black with a black keyboard, and the label on the front of it is a Bell and Howell label. So I thought that would make a cool case. Fortunately, option eight over on Thingiverse has created a series of Apple II Raspberry Pi cases, and so I downloaded the Apple II Plus case to print that. Well, I think the end result was pretty good. I've got it here in hand so you can get an idea of the scale of the, of the case. The Raspberry Pi is just mounted right in there and so you've got easy access to the ports through these holes over here. You can run your micro USB power cable and your HDMI cable and you just access those the same way you would on a real Apple II by removing the lid and you've got access to those, those ports right there. So you just snap that back on and you're good to go. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you liked the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, let me know in the comments what you liked or didn't like. I'm still kind of new at this, and so your feedback is important to me. I have a link to Option 8's Apple II Raspberry Pi case down in the description, and there are channel support links in there as well. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. You can do that by clicking over here and ring that bell to be notified when I release new videos. So with that, we're done. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, and in the meantime, go print something cool.